Hi Broncos, I'm Sophia Huerta here with Katie Lee. She was last year's WCC Player of the Year and is currently ranked number 26 in the nation. So Katie, you're about to embark on your second trip to the NCAA Singles Championship. How does it feel to be selected back for a second time? I'm really excited to be able to go to Illinois this year. I mean, I've actually had a really rough year in terms of some of my losses and also my best year. So I'm really glad that I ended up in almost the top 25 and I'm glad to be a part of that group of people again. Katie is not only successful on the court, but also off with a GPA of 3.8 in the engineering school at Santa Clara. So Katie, can you tell us the type of commitment it takes to be a computer engineer at Santa Clara University? I definitely do not have a lot of time to just like fool around. I'm always either going from class to, pra to practice and from practice to lab. So I definitely have got that time management down. And it really just takes a lot of focus and not like wasting my time just sitting around doing other things. Um, hi, I'm Silvia Figueira. I'm an associate professor in computer engineering at Santa Clara University. And Katie Lee is one of our students. She's a computer engineering junior. And I met her when she was a freshman. She was in two of my classes, two of my courses, and yeah, that's how I met her. She's a wonderful student, and I've her known since then. She usually takes, you know, participates in all kinds of things we do, especially for women in engineering. So, yeah, I know her pretty well. It's really hard to be an athlete and a, an engineer. It's yeah, I should be special, well, it's really busy. You know, engineers they have lots of labs and. Athletes have lots of practices, and usually those overlap. So the, the students, to be both, it's you know it's really hard, and and it's really impressive when we see you know somebody like Katie who can basically be a star in both of them. I'm here with so Jessica we, Agra. She's been playing with Katie Lee since 2010, and over the past three years, her and Katie's record have been 41 and 31, which puts them in second for the most doubles victories won. So Jessica, what do you think makes you and Katie so successful? I think we've been successful for the past three years just because we've been best friends off court too since her freshman year. So I think that helps the chemistry on court a lot. And we like practicing together so it's more fun. If someone else needs to work on something, it's easy to talk to the other person. And it works out well when we're playing matches. You decided to travel to Illinois to support Katie in the NCAA Singles Championship. Can you tell us more about that and what you're looking forward to most? Um, since I'm a senior this year and I'm not going to be able to see Katie play anymore, I decided that I would go to support her and watch her play one last time. And I think she's going to do really well this year because she's played awesome and beat the number one girl from Stanford this year. And I think she's going to go far in this tournament as long as she tries her best and just leaves everything on the court. So, Ben, Katie came to Santa Clara not as a top recruit. Can you explain to her? us her process and what has propelled her to become so successful? Sure. Um, Katie was always a great player and we knew it coming in. Um, I think when she got to Santa Clara, we were able to have her play against great players day in and day out. And I think that's something she didn't have before she got here. Um, and just the advantage of kind of being on her own and playing, uh, having some, some good coaching um, and, and um, just like I said, playing every day against great players um, allowed her natural talent and athleticism to come out. What are your expectations for Katie in her second run in the NCAA Singles Championship? Um, my expectations are just that Katie works hard and puts her best effort out there. But uh, I think she can win the whole thing. Um, she's proven she beat the uh, defending champion from last year. Um, and at this point, nothing would surprise me from what she can do. So we're going in with no expectations, but um, I'm not going to be surprised when she wins the tournament. Katie Lee's first match is Wednesday, May 22nd. Make sure you tune in at SantaClaraBroncos.com so you can get the latest updates on women's tennis.